place sure lives up to its name. The wind never stops, huh? This breeze is strange, though. It feels melancholic somehow. Well, first order of business is to return the elemental vessel to the chief. Then we see about the alm. Dragonfolk can live to be pretty old, right? Do you think the new Alm of Wind could be a senior citizen of the Vale? Don't worry. I'll carry them to the mana tree on my back if I gotta. What a fine upstanding soul guard you make! <sighs> I'm Val, the soul guard. I came across your elemental vessel and wanted to return it. Gracious, I was wondering where Ramco and the little one spirited that away to. Thank you. Those youngins will get an earful later, but enough about that. Welcome to Longren, friends. A pleasure. So where might we find the Alm of Wind? On that subject, I have some unfortunate news. The fairy has not yet arrived to name the Alm. Oh, then you're still waiting to see who gets the job? Here in the Vale, we welcome the fairy with a traditional wind-dying ceremony, as performed by one of our wind oracles. But this year, our attempts at the ritual have been unsuccessful. There is one oracle, Karina, whose attunement to the wind element is unparalleled. At this rate, I fear that without Karina, the fairy may not come at all. Sadly, she refuses to listen to my orders anymore. No matter what I do or how soundly her parents scold her, Karina says she won't budge until she feels like it. But now that you have arrived, Sir Soul God, there may be a chance to get her to seem reason. I humbly beseech you to talk to Karina. What? Why me? Perhaps if she is buffeted by a breath of fresh air, she may yet bend to the winds of fate. Be sure to give her a good buffeting, mind you. You mean use the vessel to literally knock some sense into her? Surely a precious artifact should be handled delicately. These days, the elemental vessel is scarcely used as more than a child's plaything. I am certain that a soul god would have much better applications for such an object. Come, if the fairy is not properly welcomed, it could be the end of the veil as we know it. Please, you must make Karina see reason. I think I've got my work cut out for me this time. Hmm. The chief seemed genuinely worried for the fate of the veil. Now's your time to shine, Sir Solgard. You folks in the habit of staring at strangers? What is it? Are you selling something? Find somewhere else to hawk your wares. Uh, are you by any chance Karina? The Wind Oracle? I'm Hina. The Alma Fire. And this is. Val, the Soul Guard. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's the convoy of alms well with me? No, let me guess. The Chief sent you to convince me to do the wind dine, right? Well. Yeah, actually. In Tiania, we build a ceremonial bonfire to celebrate the fairy's arrival. Longren has different traditions, though, right? The Chief thinks sending outsiders to do his dirty work is gonna make me budge. Well, he's got another thing coming. Nope, never again! But if the fairy doesn't come, no one can be named the Alm of Wind. For the sake of Longgren and the rest of the world, would you please consider performing the wind dying ceremony? When someone asks a stranger for a favor, usually they have something to offer in exchange. I'll tell you what. You can find Shiryu for me. I've looked all over town already, and I gotta get off my feet for a bit. Shiryu? I'm guessing they're a friend of yours. What do they look like? He's dreamy. About the same age as me. Got a nice smile. Oh, 
Someone kind of like Val, then? <sighs> Spare me. He's nowhere near as wimpy as this guy. Gee, thanks. Well, Hina, sounds like we have a missing person to find. If Karina's already looked in town, let's try the outskirts. Yes!